come on here and get your tequila and lemonade. Lemonade is 10 pounds, tequila is five. So welcome back to the channel. Today, I am joined again by not just one, but two very special guest stars. I've got Timur again here, and I also have Leanne that you're gonna see in a minute, who are gonna be talking to us all about these devices. Now, these have become ubiquitous from everywhere from school fates to lemonade stands, because in this today's post-COVID world, no one wants to be handling cash. But have you ever wondered how these devices talk to the outside world to charge your credit card. Well, today we're gonna to look into how that process could be subverted and look at some cutting edge research into what vulnerabilities could be with these devices. So Timur, about this research into the tap and go devices, can you tell me more about it? In 2018, we had research about vulnerabilities in mobile point of sale systems. One of the things that we discovered is that some of these devices use uh, Bluetooth Low Energy to connect to the phone. And what that means is that most of the time connection between the phone and the reader is off. And that gives hackers a possibility to connect their own malicious devices and potentially send malware there to infect the device. So that would mean then at these fairs or like even like school fates or, or markets, pop-up markets, where every single stall holder has a little tap and go device because no one wants to be handling cash today, that potentially an attacker could go there, uh, have all their kit in their backpack and potentially compromise as many of them as, as are vulnerable. Exactly, yes. So that means that these devices can start collecting PIN codes, other cardholder details, and this information could be sent either via Bluetooth back to the attackers or can be sent over Wi-Fi or 3G connections if devices have such feature. Wow, that would mean that at a large event there would be a huge number of potential devices and a huge number of potential transactions and in fact it wouldn't even need to spend on the transactions, it's just based on the number of devices, isn't it? Yes, let me show you how this works in action. Good morning. Good morning. Can I get five tequilas? Sorry, we're out of tequilas. My little brother drank them all. Okay, in that case, can I get two lemonades? Okay, sure. Thank mm, you. Go. And how much will that be? Twenty pounds. Do you take cash? No, only card. Oh, okay. Twenty pounds. Let me just put it in. Okay. And I just tap here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you can take your lemonade. And I need more customers. Smells <laughs> delicious, thank you. You're welcome happens now each time customer, genuine customer, will enter his card details like PIN code or any other card details potentially could be compromised by hackers because this terminal is already infected. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed having the two special guests of Leanne and Timur as much as I have and I hope you've obviously been very interested in this brand new area, at least for me, of Bluetooth Low Energy and being able to compromise devices via Bluetooth Low Energy. So until next time, don't hack anything you shouldn't and keep watching for more content.